Well, this was bound to happen, I suppose. Hello, guys. Today is the start of Black History Month, and Google have pulled a real blinder. Have a look at this. So if you log on to Google today, if you're in the UK, you will see Google have put a portrait of a black man in their logo. And they've just tweeted about it, and this is what their tweet says. Today's Google Doodle marks the beginning of Black History Month. We're celebrating Ignatius Sancho, the British writer, composer and abolitionist who was the first known person of African descent to vote in a UK general election. Great, you may be thinking, brilliant. I might not have heard of him, I'm going to read up about him. Interesting way to start Black History Month, except there is a problem. Apparently the picture they've put up is not Ignatius Sancho. It is actually a completely different person. <laughs> As this Twitter user was quick to point out, Okay, so yes, it's great that today's Google Doodle celebrates Ignatius Sancho as Black History Month kicks off, but why are Google using a portrait of Oladua Equiano to do it? This is a really silly misstep by Google, and certainly because Google seemed to portray themselves as a really woke company, so you thought they would have really thought long and hard about this. Before they put the pictures up, they would have double, triple checked, are you sure you got the right pictures, all right? Because if you don't get the right pictures, you're reinforcing that stereotype from white people that, you know, all black people look the same, and I can't tell the difference, all that terrible kind of stereotyping and racism that goes with it. I mean, this is the problem. It's like when, remember when Kobe Bryant had, a, tragically, when Kobe Bryant died, and the BBC showed footage of LeBron James. There was also another case when the comedian, Dane Baptiste, you know, he was working with the production company and they sent him photos to approve of himself for a production, but they sent him photos of Richard Blackwood, not him. You know, it's just really, really terrible, just stupid and could have easily been avoided. Hang on guys, hang on, put the brakes on for a second. Because what I've done is I've actually uh, Googled it, ironically. I'm on Wikipedia now, which I'm sure Google could have done themselves. Um, so what has happened is they've actually used a disputed portrait in their Google Doodle. That's what they've actually done. So the portrait they've used is disputed, right? So some people say the portrait they've used is Ignatius Sancho. Some people say, oh, no, 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 it's not. It's not. It's, it's Oladua Equano. It's not him. So the thing is, right? If it's a disputed portrait, why use it? If it's not been fully decided who that person is, don't use it. Because then I clicked on the page for Ignatius Sancho and there's a portrait of him done by Thomas Gainsborough, one of the most famous artists in the world. So why can you just use that instead? Because that one isn't disputed, I don't understand. But there we go. So it might be that they have actually used the right portrait, or it might be they've used a portrait that no one has actually decided as to whether it is the person in question. So. I guess we'll find out, or maybe they'll just change it to the Thomas Gainsborough one and stop all the confusion. But there we go. Interesting what happens on social media, isn't it?